Welcome to General Structures 2 and Lateral Forces, the Lesson 1 quiz, question number 10. And it asks, which of the following is least likely to be an efficient structural system for a building whose column spacing is 20 feet in one direction and 40 feet in another direction? So, you have a column, let's say their eyes, I beams, or H piles, whatever, their steel sections. Let's make this more, so it's what, about 2 to 1? Alright. Let's say, what is it, 40 foot? And this is 20 foot. And it asks, asks which is the least likely to be an efficient structural system. So, without be, before I look at the answers, or the, the potential answers, uh, let's go ahead and think what would this be well when we look at it uh, most of the time it's going to say one way or two way what would be this be and it, uh, it's a two to one ratio so I'm going to say oh well you know one way slabs aren't, aren't going to be the most efficient for this type of ratio where you have two to one I hope you understand what I'm saying this is kind of two to one Anything less than that or close to one to one is going to be more of a, a two way system where you're going to let's go see almost a, like a waffle type system. Any two way system. I skipped over them. There they are. So a two way slab or a waffle slab or a floor slab or a plate slab aren't going to be the most efficient in my personal opinion. So if there's any of those that are on the list, then I will count them wrong. What will be more efficient is the most efficient. What would be the most efficient? Let's say you just have, you could have a beam right here, a beam right here, and then another beam. And if, as long as this beam, and then a, a, a slab on top of those. so slab on top of four beams might be efficient because that's looking at it where you have your distributed area where this beam right here would take all of this and this beam down here would take all of that or you might have a beam system where you you use this beam there, there's an infinite amount of ways you could do this you could have a beam right here or you might want to call it a girder that's connecting onto these these uh, columns and maybe you want to design it so there's a little bit of an overhang so you could put a beam right here and a beam right here and you put two beams in there and then you could um, have an overhang I hope you understand what I'm trying to say I'm not saying this is the most efficient but it's, it's, a, it's a way to do it so this beam right here We'll have a slab overhang right there and you could work it out where the reinforcing in that overhang in the slab works out all right that's enough scribbling so let's go to the answers we're going to have a b c and d and we're, remember which we're looking for which one is the least likely to be an efficient structural system all right a concrete slab over steel beams and girders that's kind of what i was talking about here for the most part so that would be what i would think would be somewhat of an efficient way to go about this. So that is not the right answer. Let's cross it out with purple joker colors. All right, B, concrete slab over wide open web steel joist and steel girders. Steel joist and steel girders. That's kind of the same type of principle. Maybe you, what you could do is you make one big beam right here, another big beam right here, or a girder, and then you make a lot of little joists in between there. Once again, I'm not going to say which is the most efficient, and I don't, I'm not going to say because I don't know exactly. Um, it kind of depends what you have. You, maybe you have a lot of smaller stuff, and that's the way you prefer to do it, the way you want to, you would able to, you know, maybe if you have these small beams, you, do, you have a simple way to form this up where you just lay something on top and you form it up and you call it good as to maybe the slab overhang that I was talking about earlier takes a little bit more difficulty to to form up and you don't want to use that so this would be a, a more efficient way but then again you might not have a slab overhang at all so once again 
that could be an efficient way, so I'm going to cross it out. C, concrete joist system. And that would be typical, I mean, similar to this, except, well, it doesn't have to be this exactly. It could be going the opposite way, but it's a similar in the point that you're having joists to uh, break up that, that, that length. So you could actually say a wooden joist system might be the best way to go about it as well. So I'm going to say that's no. And your waffle slab system. And the waffle slab is an incorrect statement because that waffle is used more for a one-way slab or two-way slab, I'm sorry, where you, you're going to have more of a square. And that's when it will be the most efficient. And if you're not 100% sure about that, I suggest you go back to your, um, what page is it? Let's go back. It looks like it's on pages, you know, 16, around there, maybe before then. But uh, you should be able to justify that to yourself. But my answer is going to be D. I guess that is the end, last question for the lesson one quiz. So I will see you in lesson two. Hope this was helpful.